you're not high enough. I am high. Bro, no, you're I'm, not. Bro, you're not. I've got thousands. Dude, don't. Time. I don't give a shit, man. You have to tell this before we need to ask for permission. Yeah. We're not allowed to do this. We're actually filing a permit and you're f us up. I'm telling you, oh man. We are actually filing a permit. If we do this illegally, man, you we're f have it on video. You just tried to stop me. What? You have it on video. You just tried to stop me. I don't I care. I can't stop you physically. I'm going down right now. Yeah, yeah. Please, I'm please, please. Can you please cooperate, please? Come on. Come on, you copy. That's copy. Yeah, please call the policeman. One guy is trying to jump from the balloon. Please let him go. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, no, that's no, no, not no, no, that's illegal. You can yeah, but we can decide what we want to do. No, you have to take permit for we all that. We're going to we be in problem because of no, no. The, you. No question. Thank you. Come on, man. No, no, no. Come on, man. No, I'm telling you, no. Stop pushing it. Well, I mean, I'm being serious here, man. I know you're being serious. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. But I mean, just don't no. handle the rig, man. Come on. I'm not letting you jump. Okay, it's <laughs> over. Come on. Stop it. Bro, come on. If you don't let go of my hand, I'll hit you. Stop it. You let go of my rig. No, I'm not letting you. You're trying to jump, man. I'm not letting you go. I'm sorry. I am. I have to physically stop you from jumping. When you have like 15 skydives, they send you out at 3,000 feet. I have 2,000 skydives. We were plenty high. I would have had enough. I would have had enough time to take a 10-second delay. Yeah, I don't okay. care. Or not, right. I'm not allowed to throw skydivers. We are filing a fucking permit, and if you do it and we do it illegally, we will not be able to do it, man. And I'm responsible for this flight. And then not only he states he didn't know what the safety situation would be with the balloon, but he's discussing with his friend that he should have sat on the other side of the basket. <laughs> so I would have not been able to grab him and he could have actually illegally jumped. No, but I was trying to do it for because I because he was worried about the weight. I was trying to do it for I just wanna I didn't know what the safety situation would be with the balloon, so I wanted I wanted to give him a heads up about the weight. Yeah, but you should have stunned on this side. I know so I should I have. Yeah. You. I guess uh, mission failed. And we yeah. do it uh, in some other valley. <laughs> we were on ascent. And uh, well, as you may already know, if you lose weight on a balloon, you would go up. But what happens when you're going up and you lose more weight, especially if it's like a good amount of weight, like this guy is probably like 80 or 90 kilo, um, you would go up faster. So if we are going up and you go up faster than that and you reach, uh, you know, uh, ascent rate higher than the limit of the balloon, that what the balloon is designed for, Two things can happen. One of them is that the parachute can collapse and uh, all the hot air in the balloon can suddenly go out or the whole balloon can collapse and uh, the whole uh, the consequence is the same. All of the air inside the balloon uh, would go out and uh, it would be almost impossible to, to recover from that. And the balloon would fall down like a rock. And as we were flying, I think it was like five or 6,000 feet uh, over sea level, 3,000 feet over the ground, something like that, uh, we would have very likely died, all of us. Basically what I did is I landed on the first uh, safe place, not necessarily an accessible place for our vehicles to retrieve the uh, balloon, and I kicked them out of the basket. Well, these guys just got off and started walking away. Uh, my boss uh, tried to stop them, but they refused and, uh, and left walking. When I was doing some investigation and talking to the um, to the agency where they booked the flight to make sure like they didn't know anything about it and like they had nothing to do with it, the guy told me that after the flight, they went uh, to the agency to ask for their money back from the flight because the flight had not been long enough and had not gone high enough. Can you believe it? I'm still like amazed by these guys. Uh, turns out this guy has no license. His license was already revoked some time ago, which makes a lot of sense, by the way. Like, yeah, this guy should not have a license. And of course, like he's trying to do some bandit jumps on the third world countries, trying to like sneak in and get away with it. So.